Oh, yeah. All right. How's it going, everyone? This is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. I didn't choose the art world. The art world chose me. <laughs> everybody, everybody, thank you so much for being so supportive. Thank you so much for being so cool. I know how cool you guys are. I know how supportive, how... Um, I'm extremely grateful for all all the great comments that I've been receiving over the, I mean, the years now. You know, not just uh, here on Instagram. It's been a it's been a it's, it's been a little bit here on Instagram, but I've been receiving all kinds of great comments also from the people on YouTube, on Facebook, on uh, I mean the, the beautiful people of Instagram. I can't even say how much how gra how grateful I am. I have tremendous gratitude for all of you guys. Um, the people on LinkedIn, just everybody, you guys, you guys are amazing, and I really, I, I couldn't do this without you guys. I couldn't do this. There's no way. There's just no way, and I, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. There's no way that I could do this without you guys. So, here we go. Let's start with this painting. I'm gonna create a. Uh, I don't know. I think I've been sort of thinking about doing a bit of a uh, maybe a little canoe or sailboat or something like that you know maybe we have someone right here maybe the other way maybe we'll have the person leaning this way or so we can have something like that there we go And this is this is very much the way that I I create my artwork, guys. It's a very um, it's a very simple approach, but but it's extremely dynamic. And I think that this is this is where some people kind of uh, get lost when when either working this type of stuff or or maybe trying to recreate something like I'm doing here. Sometimes people get lost because uh, we, we become stiff. I'll tell you guys though, the secret to, to not being stiff when you're painting is you gotta paint a shitload. <laughs> That's the secret. There's really no secret to it, guys. You just, you, you just gotta do it so much that you start becoming loose. When I, when I hear people saying, man, I'm, I'm too tight in my painting, I'm too tight. It's not really that you're tight, it's that you lack confidence, guys. That's really the that's really what it is. You lack confidence. I'm I'm telling you the secret here because because uh I know some people think that it's that it's uh some strange, I don't know, formula or whatever, right? To just different stuff. Look, I'm doing classes, I'm teaching workshops. Uh because I, I quite frankly I just I had it, you know, with with uh, all the info out there and and not enough info for people like like maybe you and I I don't know people that we're really looking for for information that is not that it's not just book savvy that it's not you know that it's more experiential and if you're like me you like that type of information and this is why I decided to make those workshops and, and 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 create this workshops too, this live live workshops here on 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 Instagram. Because I think it's important. I think it's valuable. I think it's very valuable, very important to to show the process of what it is to actually paint with confidence, uh, paint loose. When people paint loose, they're really painting with a lot of confidence, guys. Uh, that's been my experience anyways uh when you become stiff you're painting you become stiff there's only one reason guys that, that, that you're you're lacking confidence that's the only real reason other than maybe that's your style and if that's your style i i, I can almost promise you even if you're painting stiff or very uh, uh realistic or whatever the more you do it you're going to start getting loose and the reason why you get loose it's not because you start getting uh someone once told me oh it's because you're getting lazy no the reason why you're getting loose is not because you're getting lazy that person was wrong the reason why you become loose it's because you become relaxed and when you become relaxed it's because you have a tremendous amount of confidence in what you're doing 
You're not stiff. You're not like this. You're not, you're not, you know, you're relaxed because you have confidence. Again, you're not fighting time and you're not fighting that which is. It becomes very esoteric, actually, to, to be quite honest. It becomes very, very, uh, um, they almost spiritual in sense, and at least for me, right? I can't say that. I can't say that for other people, but to me, it becomes almost spiritual, and and I I believe I really believe that this is where people kind of kind of lose the whole. How can I become? Uh, how can I become more of a loose painter? And 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 to you, if you're having that, if you're having that question. Uh, you, you really can't become because you learn a thing or two. It'll help, but you really can't. The reason why you're going to become loose in painting is because you're putting hours, guys. You're putting hours. You're putting hours in there, and all of a sudden, you know, it's like uh, my, my, my son was playing Fortnite. I think all the kids are playing Fortnite. Uh, and, and he, I mean, he kicks ass, right? And like all kids, right? He kicks ass, but but this one's mine, so he kicks even more ass. Uh, <laughs> so when he asks me, "Hey, Dad, you want to play Fortnite with me?" I'm like, "Dude, I can't. I don't. I don't like it." And he's like, "Come on, Dad. Come on, play with me." So I picked it up a couple of times, and and I mean, I don't even know how to use the the, the controllers, right? So it's it's very interesting to see how how he plays with that at a master level, right? Almost with his eyes closed. And that's because that's because he's done it so much that he's actually he's actually developed confidence, right? It, it, it almost appears to people that to people that that don't do it enough, it almost appears cocky, and they're like, "Oh, that person's just being cocky." No, I mean it looks that way, but it really it's just it just means that the person has a lot of confidence in what they're doing. That's all it really means. That's all it really means. Uh, he was also playing with with uh, what do you call those things? Those cubics, those uh, those cubes that, that, that kids I remember back in the in the eighties, uh, maybe even before that. But but I remember in the eighties, uh, we we used to we used to play with those. You know those those uh, those cube uh, things that you have to with the colors that you have to uh, figure out. He got so good at it that he was solving them with his eyes closed. This is my son, right? He was solving them with his eyes closed. And I thought it was interesting because, uh, I mean, who would do that? Only someone who basically, you know, sleeps next to that thing. And, and, and that was him, right? Someone who's, who's played with that so much that, that he'll even attempt to, to, to do it with his eyes closed. Because because he knows the the road already. He knows the road. This is why and how artists paint in, in such a way, guys. This is why artists, when someone when someone shows you, oh look, I'm going to paint, uh, what do they call it, loose brush or or expressionism, and people are like, oh my god, you're so brave, you're so bold. Yes and no. I mean, it does take a, a, an amount of of being a bit brave, but more important, it's the practice. The, the practice makes you makes you appear fearless. I'm not really fearless, but the practice makes me appear that way. The practice makes me feel like, oh, you know what? I, maybe I do know what I'm doing. You know, maybe maybe this is fun. Maybe this is not. You know, I've done it. I've done it enough that maybe 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 it's not gonna it's not gonna go wrong. You know, so. To those of you out there who are trying to paint like this, there you have it. Uh, it's just a matter of practice. That's all it is. Just play with it. Paint, paint, paint. Don't stop. And the stiffness is going to start going away. It won't go away automatically, but it will start going away. Once it starts going away, you're going to feel like a whole other person. You're going to feel like a whole other artist. Now, if you lose the practice, it will feel like you don't even know what you're doing anymore, okay? For a little bit, it feels that way. If you lose a practice for, I don't know, a couple of months or whatever, uh, I, I recommend, once you start, please do yourself a favor, don't stop. 
because because you, you don't have to what you're trying to regain after that is the confidence you already know what to do but you don't trust yourself this is aka the artist block okay the famous artist block it's only have it only has to do with confidence it doesn't have to do with anything else it's just confidence you've lost confidence because you've lost practice there's only artist block where there is no practice and if you think that you paint a lot when you were not having when you were having tremendous amount of ideas you were painting more than what you're painting there's a little tip for those of you out there who are having a hard time with that if you are going through an artist block and we'll repeat this again because i love repeating my shit when you're having an artist block it is not because you're having an artist block it's it's because there's no such thing as that it's because you've lost confidence and the reason why you've lost, lost confidence is because you are not painting enough even though you feel you're painting a lot you may feel like i'm showing up every day yes maybe you're showing up every day but you're not showing up every day enough time once you start putting in the time you regain the confidence okay maybe you're showing up every day maybe every day you're painting for a little bit or maybe you're rushing it or maybe you are uh i don't know uh doing something else and then kind of painting and maybe you're maybe you're too focused on facebook ads i don't know maybe you're too focused on something else uh, and it's not gonna it's it's not gonna be easy, okay? It, it, I'm telling you, I already know this because I've, I've I've been in it. It's not gonna be so easy to get out of your own head because you're really just in your head, okay? If you're experiencing artist block, I know I'm talking about a, a few other things here, but but I think it's it's important to touch on those things. If you're experiencing artist block, you're just you're really just stuck in your own head, okay? In order to get out of it, you must absolutely must start putting the hours in there it might take it might take you a day it might take you two days depending on where you are for me sometimes it takes me a whole a whole two weeks sometimes it takes me a week or two okay of painting every day for about i don't know five six hours every day sometimes it takes me weeks but i already know what it is it's the confidence the confidence is lacking excellent advice jose thank you so much stephen appreciate that <laughs> I'm going to my through my computer uh, tech block. It's wasting my time. Yeah, totally. Must take a YouTube video of this specific subject. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's really what it is. You know, we just we get we get sucked into believing that it's something else. But but I I promise you that it's not. Look, wh whatever whatever part in your life you're having a hard time in. Okay, whatever that is. That you're like, oh my God, I used to do it so well. It used to feel like I was gliding through. Like I was in the zone. The only reason you were gifted the zone, it's because you were putting hours. You were pumping hours. That is the only reason, guys. Don't be fooled. Don't be thinking that it's because you figured something out. No. The work, the hard, the hard, unconditioned, it doesn't matter how it is. This is a secret. I know it's a secret. Nobody talks about it. The, it's not a secret, but it is because nobody talks about it. I've been I've been barking this shit for years now, and, and some artists get it, other artists just kind of brush it off. And I've experienced this for years. This this is why I believe that I know how to get out of artist block. The only way to get out of artist block is to start pumping hours. Start pumping hours. It's gonna feel very uncomfortable. It's gonna feel like oh my god, I shouldn't do this. I it, I don't have enough time. Uh, you know, all of, all of the uncertainty is going to just drop on you. But I promise you, I promise you, if you just pump in the hours, I don't care if you're doing it right or wrong. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That Oh, my God, this is not the right canvas. Oh, my God. Because you're going to start putting all sorts of uh, uh, excuses. Okay? When fear creeps in, ex there's, there's thousands of excuses that come up. And, 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 and you're going to start trying to make sense of it. Nobody talks about this, guys. I'm, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm the only artist, but I've never heard of any artist touch on this. Nobody touches on this. And it's such a, such a sad and such a shame thing because, because I believe that almost every artist goes through this. And, and, and I just think it's shitty that nobody talks about it. The only, the only reason you're experiencing that is because you're not pumping hours. Pump hours, guys. Pump hours. Don't pump. Don't pump. What I mean is work hours a day. Don't pump like, oh, I'm going to go paint for 30 minutes and then I'm going to get off artist block. No, 
you what you want to do to get out of artist block is pump five six hours a day boom 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 i don't know if you have the time or not but just do it every day and then before you know it maybe for you it'll be two days maybe for you it'll be three days i don't know uh i know for for writers i have a couple of friends who are who are uh, professional uh writers you know uh, uh they, they 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 write you know stuff books and articles and whatnot all they do is that is that they'll go and they'll shut themselves off in a house or a family vacation home or whatever and all they do is just write just write they'll, they'll go to a hotel and just you know uh, they'll get a room for like three days and just write 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 that's all they do and they get out of the, the block that's how you do it you, you you get out of it by doing by pedaling okay uh stephen says uh van gogh said if there's a voice inside that oh yeah that that says you can't you cannot paint then by all means paint yeah that's always the answer but see but see many of us think i'm doing it already when when you're stuck in that problem we think i'm doing it already i should be getting out of this and and here's the secret you're not doing it enough but right Jesus Christ, like if people just understood this, you're just not doing it enough. If you just put hours, I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving you guys an advice that just, it took me years to understand. Like if you just pump in hours, boom, baby, you're out of it and, 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 and you're like on top. You're on top. Uh, here's the thing. If you're like, oh my God, I'm not getting gallery exhibits. Maybe it's because you're not doing it enough. If you go and you start just talking to galleries, if you just start talking to them, most 99% of artists don't even don't even go to a gallery. If you just start going and knocking on a door and just start talking every day, make it a point just to talk. Who cares about getting rejected? Don't even care about that part. Like, don't even worry about that part. Get rejected. Get rejected thousands of times. Get rejected hundreds, thousands, whatever. It doesn't matter. Get rejected. Get rejected. Get rejected. You're gonna start. You're gonna start building the confidence and getting the yeses. Getting the yeses. That's how this game is played, guys. This. The, I know there's a lot of gurus out there that are like, this is what you need to know. This is what you must know. There's some things that are important to know, but the most important thing to know is to put in the work. I don't care how good or how bad you are at it. If you put in the work, you're gonna get you're gonna get results. That's all. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off my soapbox now because because I get excited about this stuff. Here it is. Here's one of my paintings. If you like this painting, if this painting somehow this this what I've talked what I've talked about right now inspires you and this reminds you, maybe just keep rowing, keep rowing regardless of how you feel. Just keep keep rowing, keep moving forward. If you like it, hey, it's going to be on my eBay shop. Okay, the auction's going to start at ninety nine cents, and that's just how it's done. That's how it's done. All right, take care, guys. Uh, much love and respect, and I hope that you guys continue to uh to grow and 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 you know just keep 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 kicking ass that's all you really need to do and it's going to sort out on its own all right that really is all thank you so much thank thank you steven thank you thank you steven for 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 showing up here thank you guys i really appreciate it take care and i'll talk to you guys soon all right bye bye